My name is Abdullah ibn Muhammad, and I was born and live on the island of Bahrain in the Persian Gulf. This was a very happy day for me as we drove John Winter and I across the island to my home on the west coast. John was an old friend who had been my host and my guide while I was studying in Europe two years ago. And now, for a few days, I was going to be able to show him my island and my home and the way my people live and work. This was John's first visit to the East, and he was full of questions and amazement at the varied scene as we drove from the busy streets of Manama out into the sunlit country. At home, my father was waiting to greet our guest and to entertain him in the manner which is traditional to us. Two of my brothers and some friends were there as well to meet us. Over coffee in the garden, we discussed among ourselves a schedule for John's visit, and that same afternoon he and I started off on a sightseeing tour. across the landscape, perhaps the last resting place of the earliest inhabitants of this island three or four thousand years ago. To probe that history, archaeologists have come from Denmark and piece by piece are unearthing the ancient story of our island.
time, honored methods of drawing water and of washing clothes still persist side by side with all the amenities of modern technology. And today, I was able to take John to see one of the results of the progress we have achieved. On this desert island, because of our efforts in employing modern methods of irrigation and farming techniques, we are now able to grow crops and flowers and to rear livestock and poultry, which 50 years ago were but a dream. For centuries, dates have been one of our staple products, and today, with improved methods, it is possible for us to grow a much wider range of products. 